The difference is you haven't got a cupboard full of springs and bars in your garage where you can start to play with it in the way that we can. To help the, um, give the driver a more predictable car, uh, basically, but can, can they affect the predictability of the car with settings on the steering wheel? Yes, they can. And there's two main ones that they use. One is the differential. And if I just go back to this drawing here and recycle it, they've got an electronically controlled differential. And that's basically the thing that's locking up the two rear wheels here. It, it locks one side to the other. Now, when a car's going around a corner, if that's the center of rotation, this wheel doesn't have to travel as far as this outside wheel. And that means that this one wants to go faster than this one. Now, if you want to free them up completely, you would totally unlock the differential. Those two wheels can go exactly where they want. If you lock it, the car will still go around the bend, but there's scrubbing going on within the tires that creates a moment on the car that makes it more stable. It's like an understeer moment. That's one of the driver's tools. And the other one is what they refer to as BMIG or brake migration. What happens there is as they turn into a corner and they're, they're starting to turn the wheel, they want the car to go towards the apex, they're actually doing more work at the contact patch here on the rear. It pushes the brake bias backwards.